In this video, I'm gonna have 24 hours to start a brand new Shopify store from absolute zero and take it as far as I can and try to get as many sales as possible within only 24 hours. Welcome back to a new video, guys. My name is Marco, and as I said, I'm gonna have 24 hours to start a new store, so let's not waste any time and let's go straight into it. Just real quick before we get into it, I keep getting a lot of questions because there's always new people, so I just need to clear up some things before we get started. A lot of you guys have been asking me if I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring, and I haven't done it for a really long time, but I recently started doing it again, and I only take on a few people a month. So if you're looking to learn from me one-on-one, -on -one, I'll have a link in the description where you can apply for it. I'll go over all the applications and I'll reach out to you if you're a good fit. But as I said, that's very limited and only a few people are going to be able to actually get in. So for everyone else, if you want to learn from me, the best place to do so is my Digital Wealth Lounge program, which is a Discord community and course. It's only 49 bucks a month and you get my course, you get access to my Discord community, you get weekly calls where you can ask me anything and a few other things as well. If you want to learn more about it, I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Marco. You can also ask me any questions there. You can just send me a DM if you have anything. And one last thing before we get into it. If any of you are starting a new Shopify store, you can use my affiliate link in the description and you'll get three months for $1 a month, which in total saves you like $90. So that's about it. And without further ado, let's go straight into the video. As with any other challenge, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to find a product to test. And to do so, we're going to be using my Nia. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with my Nia. It's one of the most popular product research softwares out there. If you're not, I'll explain how it works in a second. But yeah, this is how it looks. So it looks a bit different and they've got some new features. So we'll go over that right now. They've improved the user interface a lot. So it looks a lot better now. And we have a few different categories where you can go. We have dashboard, we have ads, shops, and then products. And it's got way too many features for me to go over in the video. So I'll just go over the most important ones. Here you can filter through products. And then the one I like the most is the ads section because this shows you like ads that are currently running and they have a Facebook section, they have a TikTok section, a Pinterest section as well. So you can find products that work on different platforms. And yeah, we have a lot of different filters we can use. We can filter it by the number of likes, comments, plays, even downloads. So there's a lot of different ways to find products on here. What I like doing the most is kind of playing around with the likes, the comments, the plays, downloads, etc. So we can just do something like 300 likes minimum, click apply, and then scroll through here and see what's up. Then after a few minutes, you can just switch it up and go to comments and just do like minimum 200 comments click apply and just kind of play around with it there's no specific things you want to look for you just want to filter it a bit so you get different results and you get exposed to as many products as possible all right so i'm gonna go under tiktok and there's also like pre-made filters right here so you can do like weekly winners and it's just gonna be giving you products that are doing well in the past week so it's good to go through these as well and one more thing they added is this is drop shipping thing and when you click apply, it's literally going to give you ads from only dropshippers. So you're not going to be seeing any other types of ads or anything like that. But this is really good because it just saves you time from not looking at like ads that are not dropshipping. So those are all the most important things you should know. And I'll just take a few minutes to scroll through these ads and hopefully I'll find something good. And once I find it, I'll get back to you guys. So see you guys soon the next day all right so after scrolling a little bit i found this product and i think this is a really good one and yeah here's an ad of just some woman using it just kind of talking about it but yeah the product is in the skincare niche which is amazing women are always the best customers and anything to do with beauty sells really well so a product like this can do really well now i'm gonna click on see more and that's gonna take us to this page on my Nia where we can kind of learn more about the product and we have some features as well so yeah we can see they've been running it for 25 days here we can see more ads from the same advertiser they also added a new feature which is generate for shop Shopify. And if you click this, you can literally import the product to your Shopify store straight from Inea. And they will have all the headlines. They'll have like the description done and everything like that. I think it's AI generated. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a really good feature, especially if you already have a store done, then you can just click this and get the product imported. I also forgot to mention that they added a new feature. So when you open up one of the ads and you just scroll down, there's this magic search feature. And what this does is it gives you more ads of the exact same product, which is really good because you can find a lot of content for the product and it can help you get started with the product a lot quicker, especially for making your own ads. Or if you want to get some ideas for ads plus you can find a lot of competitors so just wanted to mention this for those of you who didn't know and let's go back to the video we can also find the suppliers on aliexpress and they found the product on aliexpress and we can get it for like 14 dollars plus four dollars shipping so 18 dollars in total and i believe we can sell this for like 49.99 maybe even 59.99 this listing doesn't have the best reviews but there's different listings for it this is just an example one we're not going to be using this one this is just the first one i found but yeah the margins for this product are great so now that we have the product the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to order a store for it so if you guys have watched my other videos i always order stores from star stores they just do a really good job and they're relatively cheap as well if you guys are going to be using them you can use code marco 10 to save 10 percent off and yeah now i'm just going to place the order and i'll be back with you guys once i'm done all right i finished ordering the store and now we're just going to need to get some ads 
done for the product so for that we're going to be using launch ads and i'm sure you guys are familiar with them i do use them a lot in my other videos as well so we're going to be going for the tiktok and vertical package right here and we're going to be going for the tiktok ad with three different variations so we're going to have multiple scroll stoppers if you guys don't know what a scroll stopper is it's the first three seconds of a video and that's the most important part of every ad so here we're going to get the exact same ad but with three different beginnings and that increases the success rate a lot so always go for that because the most important thing in your ad is the first three seconds and if you can test multiple variations that's really good so i'm going to order these now real quick as well and yeah here you can use code marco 15 to save 15 percent off and i'll just fill out all the info and be back with you guys in a second and i just finished up ordering the ads so now we're waiting for the store to be done and we're waiting for the ads as well so i'll be back with you guys in a few days when we get that and then we're going to start the challenge so i'll see you guys soon three weeks later all right guys it's been a couple of days since you last saw me and i'm back and we have the store done we have the ads done so everything is ready for us to get started with testing we're not going to waste any time i'll show you guys the store i'll show you guys the ads and then we're going to launch the tiktok campaign so let's go straight into it all right so here's the store that star stores came up with and once again they did a really really good job the store looks amazing uh this is the home page and i'll just scroll through it so you guys can see but yeah it looks really branded it looks really professional they just did an amazing job so not much to say about it except that it's really good and then when we go to the product page this is what that looks like so a bit more of a description right here some more images and features and everything like that and yeah that's about it for the product page so pretty good product page as well i'm very happy with how the store turned out so now that you guys saw the store let's go over the ads as well before we go over the ads one thing people keep commenting is like what happens when someone places an order how does that work do you have to ship out the product do you just order it from aliexpress do you have to manually do it etc so i thought i'd answer all those questions here so basically all you have to do as a dropshipper is connect the software like the essers to your store and you can do this directly in the shopify app store or you can use the link that i'll leave in the description and what you do here is you go to import list and you just paste the aliexpress link of the supplier you then select the listing and you click push the store and you're done aliexpress is connected to your store now so anytime someone places an order all you're gonna have to do is just come into the essers and just pay for the order and that's it and you never have to see the product or touch the product so the essers takes care of all that and you can also use it to kind of find suppliers and find products which is really good because they have info on what products are selling so you can find some pretty good products by going through the products they recommend and if you already have products in your store and you want to connect them to the essers you would just basically click on mapping right here and then just change out the options and suppliers here and then it's connected and you're good to go so yeah that's how the process works the app is also free they have some paid plans as well but the free one has all you need to get started so hopefully this clears things up and now let's go check out the ads so this is what the ads look like i'll put them all on the screen so you guys can see but yeah launch ads did a really good job this time once again i don't really have too much to say because you guys can see the ads on the screen but yeah i'm just talking to fill up the time so you guys can actually like see the ads in full but yeah overall i'm really happy with the ads i'm really happy with the store so everything is looking good so here we are in the tiktok ads manager and i'm just gonna create a new campaign so here we're gonna go for website conversions we're gonna name the campaign uh wandera and we're not gonna do a smart performance campaign we're not gonna do a split test we're not gonna do a cbo and we're not gonna set a campaign budget we're gonna leave all that off and we're just gonna click on continue here for the ad group name i'm just going to do no interest one then we're going to need to select a pixel so i'll just select that real quick and then for the optimization event we're going to go straight for complete payment you basically never want to go for anything else always go for complete payment because that's just going to give you people that actually want to purchase if you go for anything else like here it's recommending at the cart you're not going to get any sales so never do that always go for complete payment then under placements we're going to go for select placement we're going to turn off these two we're going to do tiktok only we're going to leave search results in and then in advanced settings we're going to turn off video download and user comment we're going to click turn off right here just so people can't comment bad stuff under the video and just so our competitors can't download it and we're going to leave video sharing on because someone might just want to send it to their friend or their family member so we'll leave that on for the targeting we're going to leave this all as it is uh, we're going to do united states only we're going to do female only because this product is for females but if you're doing anything that's broad you always want to go for both genders languages we're going to do all because it doesn't really matter we're targeting the us everyone basically speaks english then for the age we're going to go for 18 and up so all ages above 18 we're going to leave all this as it is we're not going to touch targeting expansion because it doesn't really matter we're already not targeting anything so it doesn't change anything and now we're on the budget level so here i'm just going to do 20 dollars and 77 cents why the 77 cents no reason so you don't have to do it you can just do 20 dollars. but i just do it like that out of habit then for the schedule we're going to put it to tomorrow at like 7 a.m you don't have to be extremely precise with this you can put it at midnight or somewhere in the morning it doesn't really make much of a difference we're going to click ok then under day parting we're going to do select specific time and we're going to make sure that we do anywhere from like midnight to 2 a.m because a lot of people are awake at that time and a lot of people are buying and then we're going to continue with our ads from like 8 a.m onwards again you don't have to be super precise with this you could even put like 10 a.m or whatever but what this does is this just makes it so our ads don't spend any money between these times so while everyone's sleeping at like 2 a.m to 7 a.m we're not going to be spending any money on ads and then we're going to have more money to spend in these hours where people are actually awake for the optimization goal we're going to go for conversion we're going to do lowest cost and we're going to leave everything as it is we're going to click next then under ad name we're going to click x and then we're going to do 
add one. For the custom identity, I set up a new one for Wondera, so I put that in there. Then the next we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to upload the ads from Launch Ads. So I'll click on upload and I'll just upload the first one. So I'll just click upload around here. Then while the ad is uploading, we're gonna have to do the text for the ad. So we'll do available now at 50% off. There we go. This isn't the best description, but it really doesn't matter because people watch the ad. No one really reads the small text right here. And you really don't have much room to put in anything meaningful in there. So it doesn't really matter. For the call to action, we're gonna do edit and we're gonna do standard and we'll leave it at shop now. For the website URL, I'm gonna go back to the site and I'll just copy it and I'll just paste it in right here. And I'm gonna do the product page URL. I'm not gonna do the homepage. So if we click on preview, it's gonna take us straight to the product page, which means our customers are gonna be led straight to the product page. So always do that. Never take them to the homepage because our goal is for them to purchase the product and we wanna make the process as easy as possible. The less steps there are between them seeing the product and buying the product, the more we're gonna sell. So that's why you always wanna take them straight to the product page. All right, and now that I've uploaded the first ad, I'm just gonna click on duplicate right here. And now I'm just gonna change out the video. So I'll click on update right here. And I'm just gonna upload the second video we got from launch ads. And I'll click on upload right here. And now we just wait for it to update. All right, and we just need to repeat it for the other two ads as well. This is the third one. And we also have one more ad because they sent me four. So I'll just update this one as well. And this is it. We have our four ads uploaded. We have everything set up. So now uh, we're just gonna click on submit and we're gonna publish this campaign. So let's do that real quick. And now we finished launching the first ad group. So I'm just gonna click on copy right here and I'm gonna do two more. I'm just gonna call them no interest two and no interest three, just like that. I'm gonna click copy. One important thing when you're copying campaigns is you wanna make sure the date and the day parting is all set up. So the date always resets for some reason. So I'm just gonna go back to the 11th and I'm gonna do 7 a.m. Click okay. And same thing with this one as well. And we're done. So we're gonna go continue to ads and everything is looking good here. So I'm just gonna click publish and we're done with launching the ads. So they're all in review right now. So once that's done, hopefully they're gonna get approved and hopefully they're gonna start running. And then once the 24 hours passes, I'll update you guys with the results. So that's it for me for right now. And I will see you guys soon. Tomorrow. All right, guys, the challenge is finally over and we're ready to go over the results. So I'm not gonna waste you guys' time. Let's go straight into it and let me show you guys what happened. So here on Shopify, and as you guys can see, we've had $239.96 in sales. We've had a total of four orders and yeah, everyone just bought one. We had two in the same hour. And the conversion rate was pretty good, 2.53%, especially at this price, that's pretty good. And that's pretty much it when it comes to Shopify. Now let's go over to TikTok and let's see how the ads performed. And here on TikTok, as you guys can see, we've spent a total of 59.45. The CPC was really good, 0.38. CPM was pretty good as well, around $13. And the CTR was really good, 3.34, which means the ads performed really well. So since we got four conversions, we ended up spending around 14.86 per sale, which is really, really good. So the ads ended up doing really well. And now let's go over to profit. So here we're on the profit loss sheet. And as you guys can see, we had a total of four sales, 239.96 in revenue, 59.94 in ad spend, 65.96 in product cost, $12.96 in payment processing fees, which is just the percentage that PayPal and Stripe take for processing our sales. And as you guys can see, the total profit came out to $99.59, which for the first day is really, really good. So those are the results for the first day. Since it is a 24 hour challenge, we're gonna end it off here. I'm gonna leave the links for everything that I used in this video in the description. If any of you guys wanna learn from me, you can join my Discord community or apply for my one on one mentoring, which I'm also gonna leave links for in the description. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at EcomMarco. And that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.